And to me, the Tantra lifestyle is um, slowing down and really enjoying every moment. Feeling your hands, for example. Most of the time, we don't even pay attention to what our body feels like. So it's a really very easy way to change the world as opposed to trying to tear everything down and recreate it and, and fight against something. It's allowing, it's allowing a natural flowering just like nature. You know, it's actually a very controversial thing within the Tantra community as far as how sexual different practices are and different teachers are and how that fits in, whether it should fit in. It's, um, it's an interesting controversial piece of this wild jungle we call Tantra. Unhealthy activities, you just have to look at the Catholic Church to see what complete repression of sexuality causes and it's really ugly. It has to come out because it's a natural part of our expression, particularly for the male. It's deep and it's dark and it's rich, and I think of it as feminine, although I don't know that it has a gender. I've come to call it the deep erotic. You know, one thing is just to be more playful, I think, because it is a childlike, innocent, energetic. In our culture, what comes out a lot, particularly today, around sexuality is pornography. Take some pillows, throw them under the dining room table, put a sheet over the dining room table, and make a fork like you did when you were a kid. To notice something amazing in your world at that moment, something beautiful or something that feels really good, more money starts to flow in. You experience more abundance because you're actually focusing your energies in a way that all of this can start to flow into your life because it's what you notice. If your relationship has kind of gone flat sexually and you'd like to reawaken that, you don't even have to do any physical act or take any or say a word. It's a matter of changing what you're noticing. It just makes life feel so much better and makes it much easier to move through the world and feel like you have a purpose. They're great ideas. I love the idea of heaven, but I'm pretty sure this is heaven right now. <laughs> the beauty and the simplicity of what I see as Tantra is so easy and so simple and so uncomplicated. Because I wanted mom and dad to be able to get this book and take their kids outside with it and teach them without any of the jargon how to live a tantric life and how to experience this life as a sacred journey.